Welcome back everyone, I'm Damo. I'm Nick. And today we've got Vince Carter, impossibly great dunker. The complete career dunkumentary. <laughs> so this is by Joseph Vincent, a um, really popular creator, has been requested a lot of times. Vince Carter has come up continuously and it's a lot yeah. of the comments have been about his dunking abilities. We yeah. obviously came across him in the 50 point uh, dunk contest did, video. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, so I thought with all the requests uh, specifically around his dunking, what better video to pick than one that's entitled... The Impossibly Great Dunker. And this is also going to be my first ever dunkumentary. Never had one of them before. Um, can't wait. Can't wait. I bet you can't wait, Evie. You're probably wondering why we're still talking. Let's get into it. Hope you enjoy. I wonder why you're talking. <laughs> Vince Carter is widely recognized as the greatest dunker ever. Half man. Nasty. Half amazing. No. <laughs> Where's your nuts? Yeah. Oh, Take okay. me back to the beginning. It's a long Who video. introduced you to the game of basketball? <laughs> my uncle Oliver Lee played at Marquette. He put a basketball in my hand at two years old. From his earliest days, Vince Carter was a must-see attraction. Vince Carter, Mr. Basketball, State of Florida. Vince <laughs> Carter, the basketball in sixth grade. One leg, one hand, dunk. Six I grade. love it when they get like that. Like. The angrier they seem, the more I like it. Yeah. Blocked by Carter, that's six of them. Boy, just listen to this crowd buzz. He just brings everything to life. This is Vince Carter, 6'6", six, six, and a flyer. Flying through the air like a man unleashed from gravity. Wow. Wow. You had a music Spice scholarship. I did. You turned that down. I had to. I was, I was flattered. He had the athleticism and the range. The big three pointers. Oh my wow. goodness! What a super leap! The human highlight film. Vince yeah, Carter. Gets mad, huh? Oh yeah, he goes. You might as well flight. just give him a frequent flyer card because he owns the airwaves right now. <laughs> frequent flyer card. <laughs> The size of that guy. Okay. I took the guy out. Wow. Wow. See the size of him. Great performance by a great player who is 332 away from fulfilling his team's dream. Named Mr. Basketball in Florida and for good reason. Led his team to the state championship this year. Nice. In high school, he was a Parade Magazine, USA Today, and McDonald's All-American. Mr. Basketball in the state of Florida. Led his club to the 6A state championship. Boy, is he a leaper. Now I gotta tell you, the crowd is standing. They have people down on the behind the bench here that are standing to watch this guy. And he gets a perfect row of tens from the judges. <laughs> that was one of the ones we saw. Yeah. Wow! Oh wow! <laughs> this is his curtain wow. call. Look at the spread. Look at the height. Down between his legs and he's still the angle as well. Carolina came on in the picture late as far as recruiting. Vince Carter led Mainland High School to the state title as a senior. His mom's a styling in the morning. He got a key to the city. Oh, At city. night, he rocked the city. In fact, Willis, I think, has dubbed him the human highlight film part two. Wow. North Carolina. Is this the same college that Michael Jordan went to? I think it is. I think you might be right. This is a shock because I'm never right. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to look this up. <laughs> We've been watching Last Dance on Patreon for anyone who's not on there, and it is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I really, really enjoy Our it. Our reaction, not the series. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's brilliant. It is brilliant. Uh, North Carolina. Blimey, he's got one right. I've got one right. <laughs> it's taken me about a month and a half. I knew I'd get one he's eventually. He's back on track. Oh, okay. His outstanding college boy propelled him into the national consciousness. He was right. He was right as soon as I stepped on campus, as soon as I met Coach Smith. As was the trend at that time. Ooh. Every new phenom was instantly typecast as the next Jordan clone. Oh, wow. Yeah, of course it was. Yeah. Oh. Left question. <laughs> but the latest look like so most closely it. profiles the infant Mike. Tar Heel pedigree. Attending the same college as Jordan did little to quiet those comparisons, nor did his aerial acrobatics. 
MJ is often imitated, never duplicated. With the fifth pick in the 1998 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Vince Carter from the University <laughs> of North Carolina. Oh, nice <clears throat> First round, yeah. fifth pick, selected by the Golden State Warriors. Now he shot threes at a 40% clip, and yet no one talks about that during his career at North Carolina. We had no idea what was going to happen. Of course, the draft night and all that to be said, we were traded for each other like five minutes in between. So. To trade it for your teammate, the business of basketball. Oh. <laughs> Antoine Jameson. Yes. Toronto has traded the rights to Antoine Jameson to Golden State for the rights to Vince Carter plus cash consideration. Uh, we kind of so introduced to the business of basketball immediately. The wow. Raptors were in it. Do you hear that? So Ooh. they got... Vince Carter plus cash. plus cash. Yeah. So he was deemed to be the lesser part of this deal. That seems like a good deal. Ooh. Expansion yeah. team. Only four years old. Talk about you going to Canada. Without Vince Carter, there may not be a team in in Toronto. Sure. That that is legitimate. They'd struggled with signing wow. and keeping stars. Vince Carter put this team on the map in the US across the NBA. I get there and to my surprise, it's one of the best kept seasons. Tonight's starting lineup presented by Gatorade. There you see Carter. Fan interest was low, but Vince turned that around immediately. Yeah, he's gonna put bombs in the same Oh, oh. <clears throat> dead. He could bring any arena to its feet in one breathtaking moment, elevating the franchise from obscurity to selling out. Raptors standout rookie yeah. Vince Carter got the better of Celtics so standout rookie Paul Pierce, outscoring him by 19. Soaring through the air, carrying the mantle <laughs> of Dr. J. Boom, perfect timing. For me, I had a, a dunk list that I never showed anybody, but it's like all the great shot blockers. He wants to dunk on him. Dunk on him. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you want to mark him off. Just a great accomplishment love, uh, in your career. Not too many times like to see a guy. 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, who jumps like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. yeah, it does get some hard. Oh, uh, Vince Carter may have been bigger than the CN Tower, but the rookie phenom is pretty darn close. Oh, <sighs> wow. Win. Everyone's just watching. Starting to win and starting <laughs> to get good players there. T Max there. My cousin's there. It's just like you can't beat that. The youngster and Tracy McGrady straight out of high school a couple of years ago. We just found out that we were cousins the summer before his his first year. Ooh, these two oh, will wow. be a problem for years to come. But you only get a chance to play two years. Tracy McGrady, another rebound. Have you oh, thought Tracy about McGrady. you and T Mac if y'all to play longer? We've talked about it. Carter McGrady. Have they stayed together is one of the great what-if questions in basketball history. Do you remember a point last year where you realized, well, not only do I belong wow. here, but I can flourish here? Probably just in the end, I got the dunk, what they call the dunk. Oh! oh. If you're going to dunk contest for you. Yeah. Just back to there where they were saying about the cousins playing together. Did mm. they actually confirm? I, I didn't hear it, so I'm just checking. I haven't missed something here. Did they confirm why they only played two years together? Was uh, it McGrady who moved no, on? I, I, no, they didn't confirm. They just right, said it's okay. one of the biggest what ifs if they stayed together. That's, yeah, but that's what I was wondering. They didn't really touch on that, but yeah. Right. The flashy rookie had become must see TV. He earned the Rookie of the Year award. I'm just, I'm going to try to live up to all the other rookie of the years and, and try to have a great career. Uh, he's the best play I've seen since Michael. Uh, you know, and Allen's right. nice and yeah. Kobe's nice and Shaq's the most dominant. But this is Shaq. the most exci <laughs> exciting show in town. This is a circus. And now comes a player, Vince Carter, and everyone's comparing him to Michael Jordan, and that's a tough cross to carry. Yeah, it is indeed, Fred. The thing I'm really impressed with is that he's carried over his, his level of play to his second year. A lot of people talk about the sophomore jinx. There is none in the life of Vince Carter. Air Canada was oh, ready for liftoff. Yeah, it was, was nearly one month ago when Air Canada touched down in Los Angeles. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I think that'll make 
make the highlight reels tonight, John? Scoring 34 <laughs> points in the Raptors' first ever win over the Lakers in Los Angeles. Was that over Shaq? Waddles it down! This is the second. Carter calls a timeout. McGrady will make the pass. 3.2 on the clock. McGrady looking, looking, looking. One point down. Please tell me he's not going to dunk contest this. Carter's going to get a shot off. No. Beats the ball. Wow. Oh, it's it's Carter! <laughs> <laughs> His brilliant. reaction was yeah. so good. In the year 2000, Carter announced his arrival to the world in what would become arguably the greatest dunk contest performance ever. This guy was doing stuff Thank back you. in the day. These kids still can't do to this day. I really thought the top was going to come off of the building. I have never seen that before. Here is the man that this crowd wants to see. This is what everybody's been waiting for. It's the climax of the night, and we're going to see... So when we asked people, um, when we did the um, 50 point dunk contest, when we asked people what the best ones was, yep. it was 16, 2016 was pretty unanimous, but yep. a lot of people were chucking in 2000 as well, yep. 16 and 2000, so yeah, we're about to see why they were suggesting 2000. Yeah, because we obviously saw it, but it was spanned out and the clips were all over yeah, the place. Yeah, it'd be nice to see it all in one place yeah, so definitely. and see what he did. Definitely. But yeah, no, 16 and 2000. He's a character, I like him. Yeah, definitely. I do like him. Yeah. What Vince Carter can really do... I am impressed. I'm going to confirm in nine and a half minutes. <laughs> oh. I was in another world. I felt like Mario just powered up to Super Mario. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Let's go. The tennis everywhere. Yeah, they're not allowed to go. Uh, <laughs> 400. <laughs> this building just exploded. You dunk it and put. Your arm. Oh, that's Greatest the one. Dunker ever was. Awesome. Yes. Vince Carter. Vince Carter. I might, I might have to go with Vince Carter also. Over Michael. That was a dream for of mine. A lifelong dream. dream. Being in the dunk contest was a lifelong dream. I wasn't afraid to fail. That's not Oh, it's over. <laughs> it's over, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, what? He was doing Bolt before Bolt was doing Bolt. He was doing, yeah, that's you saying Bolt celebration. Whoa! It's the Vince Carter celebration. That's I'm, where Bolt stole it from. Anytime anyone does Bolt from now, I'm going to go, hey, you mean Carter? Yeah, if, yeah. if I ever see Bolt, he better run. And then they're going to think I'm on about Jimmy Carter. And that's <laughs> me. No, I'm on about Vince Carter. That's good. <laughs> I ain't play. Oh, my ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what do you know? Oh, Maybe that's why Bolt went down onto his knee when he did it. It is over. Oh, it's out. You remember the reactions of Shadow, KG, Webb? I mean, you talk about guys who've seen dunk contests, sure. or seen you dunk. Mm -hmm. It was just different. Surprising absolutely no one. Vince Carter won. You, you and Vince? You think you would have gotten it? No. <laughs> Why? No, I will enter into things that I know I can win. I <laughs> see. That's what I wanted. Love that. That's my mentality. That's how I roll. Vince Carter, he's been virtually unstoppable Boy, in nothing. the past two weeks since the All-Star break. Doug, there's been so much hype surrounding Vince Carter over the last month, and amazingly, he's lived up to it. Oakley to bring it in with 30 seconds on the clock. Straight to Carter. Oh. Oh. He does break some yeah. ankles, doesn't he? Slamming it down with a party. Sorry, the dunks, you see him doing the dunk contest. He'll do in the game. It's, it's a rush. It's just that feeling. You want to stick your chest out and feel good. And then the fans, home or away, the oohs and ahs and the cheers. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. That's what the game is about. So no. Wow. Yeah, it's on. Just doing this. Yeah. About so the Clippers lead by two. Toronto will bring it to midcourt with a second and a half to go. It's not over yet. Vince Carter will be the man coming out of this timeout. They can win it with a three. They can tie it with a two. A second and a half to go. Seatbelts are mandatory. Oh. That's amazing. Wow. That roof would have come off. Yeah. That's crazy. Now nah, imagine that. That's just a freak everybody out. God. Screaming as great as that. I mean, that shot was incredible. I want to watch that one more time, yeah. But 
he got the space way too easy there. You think there's a second and a half left? Now, I'm not a coach, just to clarify. Yeah. I, don't, I don't want anyone getting confused on the channel, mm. right? I'm not a coach. But yeah, great movement. But look at the amount of space yeah. he gets for this. And like I say, it's a deep three. It's a fantastic shot. Look, absolute yeah. papers. Then the roof comes off. Yeah, true disaster. Carnage. In a 2001 playoff mm -hmm. matchup against Philadelphia, Vince Carter exploded. But also, he nope. can shoot. That's, <laughs> that's the one that's thing about good. Yeah. people slept on. He can shoot that three ball. Oh. What a start for that's him. Really he has 10 points, including two threes. He rained threes at a record clip. Five for five. Five Finishing five. with an all-time NBA playoff record, eight three-pointers in a single half. And a half. With an NBA playoff record for most three-point baskets in a half. Air Canada made its way to Australia to compete in the Olympics. Yes. Crowd wants another quarter alley up. I love that quarter man Canada. <laughs> Frederick Bice, the Olympics 2000. Well, He'll forever be known. Oh, wow. you, know, you ruined right. his life. Yeah, so, in the Olympics, for those who don't know, I jumped over a seven oh. foot two guy. Oh. In seven game. foot two. Oh. That's crazy. <laughs> Is that the most incredible dunk ever seen outside of a dunk contest where it's like, you know. Yeah, we've seen some specially set up ones, but in the actual game, where it's even to me, it's even better because yeah. it's not planned, it's not prepared, yeah. it's it's just spur of the moment. The on the floor, yeah. He just dunks on a seven foot two. Wow. Yeah, crazy, crazy. I don't want to repeat about the commentary just in case anyone didn't hear that. You know, <laughs> seven two. That's incredible. Yeah, I'd like to, if there's a better one, let us know down in the comments, mm. and we'll definitely be giving out a search because that is incredible. Yeah. Still ooing and eyeing. As Vince Carter got them fired up. He was now an Olympic gold medalist. Carter has now scored 20 or more points in 17 straight games. That's the longest streak in the NBA this season. That is not bad. And that's what the people in Edmonton wanted to see. What did we call A new it? human highlight reel. Carter was a star among stars. Oh. Even that, they're 70 68 down when he's doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's to tie the game, 70 apiece. Oh. <laughs> that, that sweet spot and when you roll it, you roll it. Oh! oh that spin move. With yeah, Vince continuing nice. to mature, the Raptors were becoming a formidable force in the East. 15 years ago, an NBA player's worst nightmare was not merely getting dunked on by Michael Jordan, it was being immortalized in a poster getting dunked on by Michael Jordan. Now the poster has been passed. Air Jordan has turned into Vin Sanity. And the view from down here is equally intimidating. You have to say that he's the next thing close to MJ. Garnering shoe deals and endorsements. Michael, you know, meant a lot for the NBA. And I think right now Vince is that same type of commodity. He's very athletic as Michael was. Vince has exploded on the scene. Oh, he's through the body and oh, my God. Down. His game is We could play on words as well. We could have a title for this like Brits go Vinsane for Vince Carter. Yeah. No one's gonna click on it. Nah, absolute insanity on the thumbnail. <laughs> something like that. Uh, Just so <laughs> explosive. Eleven on the shot clock. Vince driving out over Stackhouse. With a right-handed duck! Are you kidding me? Air Canada sorry here in Motown! Half so man, official nickname. half amazing. Might be. Alvin Williams. It's the name of that right actual airline in Canada. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, with a right-handed monster jam! He just posterized Tim Duncan! Fair, man. I got so little hop and you got so much. <laughs> I, I had the ball, running the fast break, Vince Carter was on one end, and Jesus was on the other one. 
I had to throw it the best card. <laughs> wow. oh, another one. Oh. Yeah, man, this freeze. Yeah, it's a cross over the center, going back to the Going from that space. Crazy. Clearly, he's been lauded in our comments for his dunks, but he's free. Yeah. Raptors 101, Blazers 97. But behind the scenes, Carter was feuding with Raptors management. Injuries had continued to mount and Carter was playing less and less frequently. They felt like he was on the training table just as much if not more than the basketball court. And Sam Mitchell made a comment to Vince about always being injured and always being on the training table. Resulting in a confrontation where Carter body slammed his coach after he wow. suggested no. Vince's injuries were overblown. Boom! There ain't nothing you could do about it. But obviously their relationship was never the same at that point. Oh, <laughs> He body slammed his coach. Yeah, normal. Just like, not, I'm glad he confirmed that their relationship was never the same after that. Because I thought he just would have forgiven oh. him. Like accidents happen. Yeah, <laughs> do it again. Oh my god, he body slammed his coach. I don't know yeah. why I'm telling you that. You obviously know this, but yeah. what did he do? He body slammed his coach. Mental. Yeah, that is crazy though. I am a Jedi. How did he stay on the team after doing that? Yeah, it had been known to everyone watching that day, this would be the final time Vince Carter played right. for Toronto. Yeah, we've got a, a player oh, down on the yeah. floor. Is that Carter? It's Vince Carter. The rumblings of Vince Carter wants out. The Raptors want to trade Vince Carter. Rather unceremoniously, Carter was traded to the New Jersey Nets. Last year, before you get traded to the Nets, things kind of get ugly in Toronto. <laughs> The trade happens and it's like, oh, Vince didn't work or well, want to be here and so on and so forth. Just the hatred. Vince Carter was about a month into getting used to his new club, the New Jersey Nets. His trade from Toronto bringing an unhappy VC back to the States while igniting a great deal of speculation as to how much effort he always gave north of the border. Could they have made a worse trade? I mean, are you kidding me? Now, now you look at it, you get traded to New Jersey. The old Vince Carter started to come back. Oh. Wait, what? That went in. Invigorated and motivated. That makes sense. Carter's high flying. Come back. That was crazy. Come back. Sat him down. Nope. Just oh, flipped it like an in. Yeah, that's, that's invigorated yeah, and bounce. motivated. Yeah. Carter's high flying act re emerged. A lot of people are saying because of the injuries, your career was on the downside, but you go to the Nets and you seem to get rejuvenated. He lead by five, Vince Carter driving past Haslam. Oh yes, a jackknife dunk for Vince Carter. That he can do. Carter spins. Oh, that spin move so good. Finishes plus the foul. It was a combination of all. What can you put your finger on it? Because it, it, it went back to Vince having fun. Vince playing above the rim. Off a great It'd be weird if his injury issues two. disappeared Vince altogether. Player of the month in yeah. December, 51 points against Miami. Over the top of O'Neal. Oh, how high you got to get to get that over Shaq? Yeah, over Shaq again. It's a new season it, he high loves for Vince. He has 39 <laughs> points. Again, Alonzo Mourning changing a shot. <laughs> how about that slam dunk Red from Vince well. Carter? What body Shaq control no, and no, what no, power by strong. Carter? I just wanted to prove to to everyone, like, I still got it. Now Carter has 51 points in the game. So one of the great okay, games the ever <laughs> turned in by a New Jersey net. I got the opportunity to play with him, and even when I got to play with him, he was far greater, far more athletic than anything I could imagine. Oh, no. Oh. It goes. No, I thought you were passing that. Carter returned to Toronto to a sea of booze. From North Carolina, 6'6 six, six guard, number 15, Vince Carter. That's a nice guard. Speed point, man. Been booed back in Toronto. I don't think any player has ever been booed like that. that, that I people didn't people oh, hate Vince so deeply because they loved him. But it would be Vince who had the last laugh. Of course. 
the top one to chase it too. Three. Oh, no. <laughs> you couldn't write it. Back in Toronto. Like, what a deal. Carter had arguably his best seasons with the Nets, playing alongside Jason Kidd. Oh, oh my. Hayes deflected. Carter goes back to get it. Three I seconds still can't left. believe Carter with two seconds. Really. That's a big old three that is on the buzzer. Got it! Oh. Vince Carter has done it! Nets win in overtime. A three at the buzzer. And a wild night at the Izod Center. Four, three, kids. Oh, that's a big Wow. Oh. Wow. Point four on the clock and he picked yeah. it up. Crazy. Scoring yeah. the basket. It's a two. Vince Carter. Not again. Oh, no. wow. That point. This is Jason Williams. Yeah, it does. <laughs> As he aged, Carter's game became incredible. One thing, we are getting towards the end of this now. And yeah. I am starting to, I don't think he ever won a championship. It's not looking like he's it's going not looking to like There would have been some focus. I mean, yeah. I know this is a dunkumentary, <laughs> but they definitely would have covered off a championship. One thing that's worth remembering about that Shaq game, Shaq did finish his career at Miami, and he did not look in the best shape no, in that he game. Was, he looked like he was, he like yeah. He ballooned a bit. Yeah, definitely. Not an actual um, balloon, that'd be weird. <laughs> I'm glad he, um, the injuries didn't like hamper him too much because sometimes you get those injuries then you're never quite the player yeah, you were. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. But, um, you go south of the border and it's all fine. That's it. That's it. You play some of your best. Do you believe the injuries? Because that, clearly that's why he got booed when he went back. So clearly there was a great feeling that once he went to the Nets and he's seemingly okay, there's clearly a feel there, I think, in Toronto that he was trying to drive the trade. Surely you, you can injuries. just force a trade. You, you, can, you can ask for a trade anyway, can't you? Maybe they didn't want to, though. Maybe he was mm. trying to force the hand. I'd be more inclined to believe that he was faking it if he tried. If he asked for a trade, mm. they declined, and then the injuries came. But Maybe I don't know. I don't know. Could have happened. Could've what happened, do you reckon? Yeah. Let, let us know. There's obviously more You'll to that story. Us, and yeah, in terms of the buzzer beater, I mean, uh, if you're a Toronto fan, the one thing you don't well, there's probably a lot of things you didn't want to happen, but I mean, the absolute pinnacle. Yeah. Is we do not want to see a buzzer beater by Vince Carter on his dodgy knee. If you if you could sit down <laughs> and write the script for his return, yeah. that's how it would end. That's yeah. exactly how it would be. Literally, fairy tale for him, I yeah, would imagine. Crazy. Um, crazy. But yeah, definitely. Increasingly well rounded. Right yeah. Fans on their feet. Bench having too good of a time. Oh. <laughs> In the clutch, he found ways to impact the game. 1.7. Yeah. 1.7 to play. What kind of look is it going to be? No way. What a fake that was. Didn't even know he had enough time. Wow. Oh, yes. Do you believe it? Oh, he's in Dallas now. Sorry, I think he, I think he just spoke over when he said that. Oh. But no matter how old he got, Carter's ability to slam it at any time never diminished. With 22 years experience, Vince Carter Christmas. is the longest yeah. tendered player in league history. Where's it Detroit? The Pistons. The Pistons? Yes. For the first time since he left. The guy they used to call Aaron oh, has been cheered loudly. Vince, thousands of players have Atlanta. reached the NBA over its entire history. Wow. None of them have played in 22 seasons. That changes when you check into the game tonight. This ain't nothing. Thank you for such a long time. In 2018, Carter became just the 22nd player to ever reach 25,000 points. Welcome to the pantheon of the greatest scorers in NBA history. Fittingly, it came on a dunk against the Raptors, the team where it all started. <laughs> He's done so much for international basketball, especially here in North America. And just look, he is and was a global superstar. 
Well, here's what he deserves, a statue in Toronto. Agreed. He deserves that. After 22 years in the league, oh, he is like best remembered for Toronto, his days in Toronto. So. They're probably already out. They need to retire his jersey. It's also time to forgive and move on because of everything else that he did for the Raptors and for Canadian basketball. Uh, it's Carter! I don't believe! <laughs> I have never seen a three-point play this way. A five-time All-Star and a legend. Oh. Wow. That was off the backboard. I feel like I've seen that in a clip before. I never actually realized it was him. That is crazy. <laughs> That was a great watch. Oh, that was great brilliant. Watch. I mean, really yeah, well put what, together film. And, what? Yeah. yeah, no, great, great video. Sort of documentary. Yeah, great, great documentary. Yeah. It's always good. You always remember you first. <laughs> and um, yeah, he definitely kind of a bit of journeyman at the end there. He just sort of went traveling the country, didn't he? You know, yeah, bit of here, a lot bit of there. Teams. Um, Bet he can name all the states. He's been there. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, great. Absolutely fantastic watch. Really, really yeah. enjoyed that. What was your favorite Vince Carter moment? I mean... Mm. I mean, the bit that sticks in the mind is obviously going back to the Toronto and getting Toronto, the yeah, beat. I mean, yeah. crazy. And were the injuries true, or did he just get over the injuries instantly? Because, yeah, definitely feels like there's a bit of a cloud lingering there that we just need some clarification on. Yeah, definitely. I know you can't wait to give it to us. Not like that, <laughs> that'd be wrong. But, yeah, thank you for being with us this one. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did, and we'll see you on the next one.